I've got this piece of cherry that's been in inside in the office now for probably four years. And I think I'm going to make, I'm make the bodies of the toothpick holders out of it. I think there's plenty there just to make the body. And then, of course, I'll have to find something for the interior and the, um, the top. But we can do that. But anyway, here's what I was... You see, it's, it's cracked down to right here, but uh, I need two and a half inches, so I'm thinking I can probably get most of it right here. Make my center right in this area. Because I took and cut some off over here on this, the big end, and uh, the, the crack doesn't extend here. It looks like it quits right in this area, but I've got to get all this cleaned off before I find out really how deep it is. But I'm going to go ahead and make this to the round that, uh, oh, about, uh, I'm going to try to get by with three inches before I start uh, segmenting it. So we'll see how it works out. So I'll, I'll keep you briefed here. All right, this has got a pretty nasty crack down the center. Uh, it quits here. And it's not very deep, but I'm going to go, I'm just going to fix it. This is cherry. Cherry is pretty. And it's about four years old. It's, it's been in the, been in my office in there for about four years now. Maybe five. So it should be as dry as it's going to get. So you know it's, it's worth saving. I can't blow some of this out right here. First thing I want to do is pump it full of thin CA. Okay. Let that settle in here for a little bit. Okay. They are be set up in there pretty good now. So anyway, the next thing I'll do is put this super thin crack filler in there. Um, you all know what it is. Mm. Leave that. Okay, I believe it's time to call it off for tonight. <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm going to make. Uh, I only need to make three of these. So I'm going to make them a little bit. Just give me room to cut it off. But there's the, uh, there's the base of one. So you see I'm going to make it quite a bit longer. Uh, it'll, give me, it'll give me room for the tenon and the lid. So if I'm coming right here, it's going to be close, but I think I can do it. If not, I'll just find something else to make a lid out of. I may make the whole lid out of walnut. That'd be sort of pretty. Yeah, that would be pretty. That may, maybe that would be the plan. we just have to see. In the meantime, uh, first thing I'm going to do is this, this wider line is I'm going to take the parting tool and cut it down quite a ways uh, just to mainly a reference point. And then I'm going to come in on uh, here, here, and here, and make three tenons. So I'll have three tenons, and then I'm going to come in with a parting tool a ways off the top. If i got enough room, which I think I will, to, to have the material to make the top out of. And we'll go from there. That's about as far as I got. So we'll go from there. We'll see what we're going to do here. Get the dust out of my face mask. Don't know where all this stuff comes from. And then we're going to turn this thing up to... I don't know.
That looks good. So what I'm doing now, you know, I've got the tendon made and I've got this all nice and the size I want. I just got to sand it. But this piece right here, this is going to be the, the, the cap. So I'm parting it right here. So I'm going to cut it off right here. And then that little lower lip right there, that's going to, what's going to sit inside the top right there. So that, that's your little lip that will sit in there. And this and this will remain the same. But uh, then this will be the cap, which you know I, I will cut it down some more and and round it, and somehow attach it so I can finish it later. I uh, hadn't quite got that far. They are separated, and right now what I'm getting ready to do is drill a, a hole all the way to about here, just a, a small one. It has to accommodate uh, this, so I will. I always put a glove on the left hand. I'm tender. 
uh, whole dish, if it starts spinning, you know, you want a glove. Because right there it will hurt. I'm going to go ahead and get the lid seated before I start shaping this. Sometimes yours, they are difficult to make fit. I'm going to put some sealer on it now and then let, let that sit up overnight. It's uh, just sanded at 120 so it'll take some more sanding anyway.
All right, well, here's step one. Uh, I'm going to do the other two just exactly like it. It's all drilled out and, and turned and finished. Uh, next step after I do, you know, well, I got to do the other two. Well, then I got to figure out how I'm going to put my walnut on the bottom. I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure it out somehow. So we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. Catch you later. I'm, I'm not going to film doing, you know, drilling the other two. There's no sense in it. Or, or finishing, because, you know, you only need to do this once. I'll catch you later. Hey, before I get too done with this, I thought I'd bring you up to date. I, I went ahead and came out here this morning, got busy, and didn't turn the camera on, but there ain't a whole lot to see anyway. I'll explain to you what I did. Uh, first off, I, I mounted the body of the holder into these cold jaws. And originally, what I was going to do is just turn the tendon off. But I wanted some walnut on the bottom, and I was having a hard time figuring out how I was going to hold my walnut to uh, cut it out to put it on there. So finally, what I decided to do was I took... This over here, where you can see it, is I took a piece of walnut like this right here, and I used a hole saw to drill out the center. That's the hole, and then I took the leg, took the square cutter, and cut this down to where this fits exactly on there, and. Then I used epoxy and epoxied it on there. Well, I've got one of them on here. This is the first one. Go ahead and just get it to the round first. And I'll be turning it at about a thousand RPM and cutting her down as it comes off, and then I'll quit. Well, good morning, good day, whatever. Depends on where you're watching. Hey, look, here's here's where I am now. I right, bring you up to snuff. Uh, sometimes I forget to turn the camera on. Just as bad as to turn it off. I've gone to lunch and never turned it off before. Anyway, here we go. Here, I got all three of these done now, and. Uh, well, I would say done, almost done. Of course, they got to be finished. And I'll use the Beal system for buffing them. But in the bottom, I, I took my business card and cut the logo out. And I poured a little bit of black epoxy and I just laid it in there. So that's going to, you know, that's all settled out now. So when I get done with the entire thing, I'm going to put a little bit of clear uh, tabletop on top of that. Because I left about a good quarter inch there on all three of them. So what I'm doing is I've got this one between center. And I've got the chuck set up over there. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm cutting this down right here to where it's just a little bit smaller than that, but it's still going to chuck so I can then drill them. So see, that'll go into there, so I'm turning, I'm going to turn all three of them like that between centers. And then I'll put them into Then I'll put them into the chuck so I can drill the centers out and put my, when I get it all drilled out, and let's just say that's finished, I'll be putting this here and the lid here like so, see. So that my toothpicks will fit in there. And then the only thing i got to do is turn me some little finials for the top and glue them on and it'll be done. Okay, I, I've got uh, I've got all three of them done now. See, so I've got the uh, bottoms done like that for. You just have a toothpick here. <clears throat> Put that there. See where the toothpick goes in there like that. Okay. <laughs> It's all laying down, and then you pull it up and you get your toothpick. Just like that. So right now I'm making, I'm going to put a finial on top of these. And I'm not even real sure about the design. It's not going to be very big. In fact, I might even get two out of this one piece. It's going to be more, more of a, uh, a knob than a finial. So we just get on with this and see what see what comes of it. Well, it's been a few days, and I, quite honestly, I don't remember whether I videoed making one of these or not. But uh, what I'm, what I'm going to make is another one of these. I guess you call them buttons to go on top right here, like that. I got one more to make, and that's walnut, and that's what I'm going to make it out of. So I got another one right here, so I'm going to put sit it over here and use it for an example. And let's see, I'm going to get it around with a round cutter and then I'll use bow gouge to shape it. <clears throat> and I'll be turning it a grand between centers.
about there. I could have cut that in two, but it might look they go flying on me, so I don't mind using the saw. Here you go. Very good morning. But I got all three of them done now. What I'm doing now is buffing. Just buffing them up a little bit on the beetle buffer. They're doing pretty good. Well, there you go, guys. There's one of three right there. Uh, the others, are, they're just in the other room. Anyway, they're done. They're all done. They're all polished. I just need to add toothpicks to them, so I've got to go to, to Wally World and buy a bunch of toothpicks. But uh, that's basically how they work. Of course, it works better when you got more toothpicks, but just stack a bunch of toothpicks in here like that. And pull it up when you want one. That's all it is to it. Pull it up and get your toothpick. So there you are. Got to clean that off a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Is uh, making three of these. You know, it's quite quite a few steps involved. It's not difficult. It's just steps, and you know, waiting in between each one and deciding what you want to do. I mean, it's, I don't know about you guys, but I can't, I can't get two things just exactly like. So, I mean, they're close, but some of the knobs are bigger than the other, and or the buttons or whatever you want to call them. And uh, I think they turn out all right. I think they'll make nice Christmas presents. This one, this one happens to have a place here that you can line it up right there, see? So that one works out pretty good. That was a crack. You know, I used my secret formula for, uh, used to be secret formula for filling cracks on the fly without, you know, staining all the wood around them. So there you are. I hope you like what I do. Uh, give me a like if you can, subscribe and hit that old bell and all that kind of good stuff. I, I don't put out as many videos as I used to. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, time and age. So I'll catch you later. I've enjoyed it. I'm getting ready to start another one. I'm going to make another one of these just like it, but a whole lot bigger. It's going to be for fireplace matches for my daughter. I hope the matches come in because I, I got to have the matches before I can make it for another Christmas present. Then I'll be done with Christmas presents and get back to some serious bowl making. So I'll catch you on the rebound. Take care of yourself.